shifted section. <coughs> 1.6 is on page 70, it talks about a face shifted or face shift sign sedoil fitting. And here we're going to do the same as what we did before. Nothing is going to vary now. Okay. Okay, it's freezing up a bit. I'm not sure why it's freezing. I have to drop that. Okay, so same as before with one minor exception. One, this is on page 78. Amplitude is three, nothing changes. Two, period is two pi divided by three. And three, we have a phase shift. Take this and set it equal to zero. And solve. So here things are slightly different. Now, in physics, they do this. They factor this three out which is a good idea that says x minus pi over 3 and in doing so you could see the phase shift automatically so we're going to shift this graph by pi over 3 to the right so with reference to the original i'm going to move two units and i'm going to say this is 1 pi over 3. now there is a small problem that arises every time you're going to do this and i'll show you what that is i'm going to go up to 3 1 2 3 So those I label clearly for this guy because he seems to be really picky. And I would go down one, two, three. So pretty much whatever I did from the origin, I do now, but I base everything on I base everything on the origin right there, but everything now is going to be based right there. Now, we have an issue. The problem is, I'm not sure how to scale this. Something you're going to have to do on every problem, and I have a nice solution for you. That is, if I was to draw a sign, a normal sign would look like this. A normal sign would look something like this. The problem is, now that it's shifted, now that I'm starting here, I'm sh not sure where that point is. So this is what I do. This point is right there. To figure out where this point is, once I know where that is, I'm in good shape. I would say I'm going to take one-fourth of the period like we did before with one minor exception. I'll add the phase shift. Since I'm no longer starting at zero, if you add the pi over 3 to it, that tells me where this peak is going to happen. That tells me where on this line it's going to hit the amplitude. It's not lined up perfectly. That's okay. So if I would go ahead and figure this out, uh, that's a pi over 6 plus pi over 3. And that would mean what? I'm going to move only a pi over 6. If this is pi over 3, half of it. Or get a common denominator. That is at 3 pi over 6. So think about it. This is pi over 3. For me to make sense, I need that to be over 6. Don't you multiply by 2 top and bottom? So if this is 2 pi over 6, this is 1 pi over 6, this is 2 pi over 6. Pretty much by knowing what this point is, it tells me how to scale the x-axis. And I know at 3, so this is 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6 is where this point is one fourth plus the shift and if i know that the graph took that many units i know exactly how to scale the graph now unlike what i did before what we were doing before i was graphing first and then labeling after that's no longer allowed because i no longer could scale it properly and once I know this is 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6 of pi. To the right you add, to the left of the origin you subtract. I need a period to the right and a period to the left of the starting point. Sketch a period to the right and another period to the left of the starting point. And you're going to do that in every problem for me on the exam and on the homework so if you didn't get that fully that's okay we're going to tackle it again here it is 
I'm glancing at this problem, trying to figure out how to graph this. 1, amplitude is 3, 2, period, is 2 pi divided by 2, which is pi. And 3, we have a phase shift. Take 2x plus pi, set it equal to 0. x is negative pi over 6. I choose to move 2 units to the left and mark that to be a negative pi over, over 2, not over 6. I'm sorry. I'm getting excited now. And the same deal. If I am to look at the basic graph, a graph of a cosine, I know a graph of a cosine looks like this. Well, <laughs> if I go up to 3, down to 3, and I label those clearly. y equal a 3, y equal a negative 3. I could see with reference to 0 where I am. I know this graph is going to start right there. The question is, does it come this way, this way, or this way? Well, I need to figure out where this point is. If I could figure out where this point is, I'm done. And this is always one-fourth of the period plus the phase shift. And once I do that, I would know from this what to make the denominator for all of those. And that's the hard part of fractions. This is pi over 4 minus pi over 2. So the LCD is a 4. That's pi minus 2 pi, negative pi over 4. So I need to make this over 4. Multiply by 2 top and bottom. Doesn't that make it negative 2? Since everything's over, over 4, now I am aware that this is negative 1 pi over 4. This is 1 pi. And I scaled everything according to what's needed. And a graph of a cosine, guess what? At this point I just got is actually that point so if i know it took that many units i would know exactly how to sketch one full cycle and the labeling becomes very simple and if i go to the left also i know how that works so negative one pi over four negative two pi over four negative 3 pi over 4, negative 4 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4, and negative 6 pi over 4. You could reduce, not reduce, that doesn't really matter much to me. The next problem, number 8, 1, the amplitude is 2, the period is 2 pi divided by 2, which is pi. There's a phase shift of 2x minus pi over 2 equals 0. That means x equal pi over 4. And 5, it's negative, so we reflect. So under normal circumstances, I am aware that this graph looks like this. This point is easy. I'll show you where that is on the graph. If I put the grid down, and if I move 2 units above, Two units below. Oh, I forgot the phase shift. And I have a phase shift of pi over 4. There we are. Pi over 4. Y equal a 2 and Y equal a negative 2. This point is really right there. That I know. That's easy. The question is, how far do you go to touch right there? That's the point I want. And that point is simply one-fourth of the period plus the phase shift. Isn't that 2 pi over 4? Well, hey, if everything's over 4, if this is 1 pi over 4, isn't this 2 pi over 4? 3 pi over 4? Four. 4 pi over 4? And 1, 2, 5 pi over 4, you could label it on the x-axis, and, okay, toward the end, kind of the writing is kind of hard, 
And if you go to the left, do you see each two units count as one? I was able to scale this perfectly now. I'm going to move this. Actually, I'll put it there. That's okay. And wouldn't this come up? Now, if I figure that this is too big, I could rescale it, right? There it is. So to the right, this is 1 pi over 4. 2 pi over 4. To the left, that's negative pi over 4. Negative 2 pi over 4. And negative 3 pi over 4. So the scaling is perfect and the labeling is perfect. It works identically. What do you deal with a negative? We never deal with a negative. We factor a negative out of this. And we say cosine is an even function that absorbs that negative. And this problem just became like the previous problem identically. Do you see that? So same as above. The only difference is that the x, the, the amplitude is really three. I gave you a problem because I couldn't find enough problems to do. So I added one problem for you with a sign. One, amplitude is two. 2 period is 2 pi divided by 5. 3, we have a phase shift of, if I take 5x minus pi, set it equal to 0, x equal pi over 5. So just to demonstrate this idea of fractions, the annoying part about this for students is not, or the hard part, the challenge, is that the, it is fractions. It's not the graph of a sine or cosine. I'm going to go up. 1, 2, and down 1, 2. And I label those for this guy clearly. Now I might have to rescale this. I'll decide y equal 5, y equal 2. y equal negative 2, and this is x equal pi over 5. A graph of a sine wave starts at the origin, this new origin. So again, I am aware how this graph looks like. This part is always given, it's right there. I need to know where this is, and I find that by taking one fourth of the period, one fourth, the period is two pi over five, plus the phase shift. That would be, that would be uh, pi over 10 plus pi over five, all over 10, that's 3 pi over 10. For me to make sense out of it, I need this to be over 10 multiplied by 2 top and bottom. That's 2 pi over 10. So if this is 2 pi over 10, this is 1 pi over 10, 2 pi over 10, 3 pi over 10. And that's really how you do the problem. And it tells me where this point is. This point is at 3 point over 10. Once I figure out what that distance is and they're all equal, I know exactly how to really finish that graph. 1 pi over 10, 2 pi over 10, 3, 4, 5 pi over 10, 6 pi over 10. To the right you add, to the left you subtract. There it is. That is negative pi over 10 and that is negative 2 pi over 10. And there it is. I get to the next problem. Tan and cotan behave the same way, except not one fourth of the period, one half. I think it makes it easier. Amplitude is one half. Two, the period is pi divided by two. And three, we have a phase shift of two x minus pi equal to zero. Or simply, x equal pi over 2. So if I am to go to x equal pi over 2, and I know cotangent starts on an amplitude, uh, uh, asymptote. Now, I know it starts 
I need to know where that is. Half the period plus the phase shift, just like we did before. That's going to be half of the period. What's the period? Pi over 2. That is pi over 4. Plus the phase shift. That is 3 pi over 4. To make that over 4, that is 2 pi over 4. That means that's 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. So I know this graph is going to run down and oops and hit that point right there and I know that it's gonna end right there because those are all equal if this is 1 pi over 4 2 pi over 4 3 pi over 4 4 pi over 4 I'm gonna add two more periods one to the right one to the left just for the heck of it and that's when it's already labeled and that's already here we go 1 pi over 4 2 pi oops. 1 pi over 4, this is the origin, 2 pi over 4, 3, 4, 5 pi over 4, and 6 pi over 4. Tangent, we know how tangent works, it works the other way around, not a problem, we can get that as well. 1 amplitude is 1, 2 period is 2 pi divided by 3. We have a phase shift of 3x plus pi over 2 equals 0 x equal negative pi over 6 the same deal I want to rescale this before I start so I know how it works I'm gonna go to pi over 6 let's say it's right there I know the graph of a tangent looks like this but it's negative you see that since it is negative it's gonna reflect not that color, this color. Well, I know that the graph is going to go through this point. The question is, how far do you draw the asymptotes? Well, no big deal. Half of the period plus the phase shift. Isn't that pi over 3 minus pi over 6? All over 6. That is pi over 6. If this is, if the shift was, oh, the shift was negative pi over 6, I messed up, forgive me. There. If the shift was originally negative pi over 6, I moved to the left of the origin. This is negative pi over 6, right? And I know... <laughs> I know that if I go half a period, so this point is right there, that's simple. I need to know where this line is, and I figured out that that's at pi over 6, one half of the period plus the shift. Well, if this is negative pi over 6, isn't pi over 6 two units away? And that means I need to go how many? So this looks like this. And I need to go that many units to get one full cycle. Or I could rescale this. There it is. Or I could rescale the whole thing. Say, you know what? I messed up. This turns out to be a bit too big. You know what? Why don't I make... Why don't I make this negative pi over 6? And I know the asymptote is going to really be at pi over 6. So this bottom part looks like that. It's right there. And if I move 2 units, I move 2 units and I scale it and it's perfect. And how does that work? Well, think about it. If this is 0, right? If this is pi over 6, this is negative pi over 6. Negative 2 pi over 6, this is negative 3 pi over 6. I could sketch another period. I need 1, 2, 3, 4. Once I get one period, I can get all of them because I scaled this properly. And if I figured that, whatever that is, right? I went from negative pi over 6 to pi over 6. Isn't that 2 pi over 6? That means another 2 pi over 6 and another 2 pi over 6. And 
another 2 pi over 6, and another 2 pi over 6. And there's the homework.